Okay, so this is the Amazon Fire Stick. I've just turned it on. So it's Amazon Fire Stick running Kodi with the Fire TV build. So I just wanted to show you how to get it up and running. So what you'll find is that the Fire Stick kind of boots up into um, Fire Stick, Fire TV Stick uh, operating system by Amazon and after it's loaded up you'll then find that Kodi is fired up as well automatically um, let's give it a few minutes here just to load up a few seconds so here's the main interface I'm not going to touch anything on the remote control for a second uh, what you'll find as I say is that I've set it to um, open automatically give it a second Right. Here it loads up. Cody. So Cody is the program you use to watch uh, films and other media off the internet for free. So here it is loading up now. It all takes a few minutes on this stick because it's not very high power, but it's pretty good. And it's got this this layer, this skin called Fire TV Guru. So it gives you kind of a load of kind of options automatically so you've got movies and other things in here I recommend that when you load it up for the first time you leave it just a, a minute or two just to check for any updates that it might have um, so you can normally find that by kind of an update message at the top right here or the bottom left or the top left um, after a few minutes after it's checked everything you're ready to start using it There was one small update there. Any more? No. It looks like I've um, had it running quite recently, so there aren't any updates for it. It hasn't detected anything that's out of date particularly. So you'll see you can use the left and right arrows we're well, not really arrows but it's kind of a, a four-way keypad as top one here and the center buttons the enter key um, this home button that takes you back to the Amazon fire um, operating system or interface if I press this now it should I might need to double press it let me just see Yeah, that gets us back to. Um, I'll press it one more time. That gets us back to kind of the interface here. This is quite useful because under settings, when you first set this up, if I go to settings, and then I use the right arrow to choose. I want to go and set up the Wi-Fi. So configure network. So I'm going to press the enter button, the center one, and give it a second to load up network so this would be where you select your Wi-Fi network I'm going to go for this one let's say and this is where you put your password in and when you finish then you can click connect but it should remember my password from this one here which is fine yep, it's connected already that's great so that's how you set up your Wi-Fi now you press the back the back arrow is this one back arrow is this one here it looks like a kind of a reverse symbol so I'm going to reverse back go back to the beginning and to get back into that thing called Kodi it's on, it should be under home it's that one here the K symbol or you can find it under apps as well but as I've said it does load up automatically when you start so once you've set up your Wi-Fi you should find that it remembers that from then onwards you don't need to enter those details again and here we are this is where I've left it so navigating this tool so you can access movies I'm just going to use the left and right arrows on this remote control movies TV shows 
all in one so that's a bit of everything in here live tv i haven't used this very much but i think you can watch tv channels like american tv and sky and things like that kids corner so collection of things there sports music um, and there's other tools as well fitness maintenance systems i would probably ignore those but the main one i'm thinking you probably use is movies so with movie selected you can select these individual sources at the top here but I, and and at the bottom here as well using the kind of the up arrow and left and right but to be honest with you i think you can do quite well just by just making sure that movie selected here then press the center button here and you should find that an interface loads up which kind of pulls together all of the most recent or most popular films on the internet at the moment and you can use the up and down out buttons to just scroll through them and you'll find that there's probably 20 on the first page and then once you get to the bottom of that list um, it kind of refreshes the next page so it's quite a nice way and this list updates as new films come out so let's say I want to watch um, Avatar if I press the centre button here it gives you, well you see on the left hand side it gives you a bit of a description, a picture on the right here as well if I press the centre button when I'm on top of it give it a second, it takes a second to work you'll find that this flies away for a second and it's replaced with kind of a summary synopsis of the film, more artwork and related stuff here as well I haven't pressed anything yet but the play button here is already highlighted in blue so I can just press return and it'll bring up um, kind of streams where it can take get it from the internet. Now, now I just tend to choose the default options. Most of the time, it, it selects one of these sources, and just press the enter button here to go with the, the kind of the default selection. That should work okay. So give it a second. Things do take a bit slow on it, but it's quite nice. And it's giving here for this particular one, it's giving a choice of two links. If the first one's not working, you can always go to link two, but let's try link one because that's already selected. And you can open the stream and it might take a second to work. And different films depend uh, the quality depends upon, you know, how recently they've been in released on the internet. Um, and they do get updated as well automatically. So the system kind of factors in any updates and you'll find that list of films constantly changing. Uh, films don't always work, sometimes the links are broken um, but they do get updated over time, so try again maybe in a week's time. So here it is starting to play Avatar. Just turn the sound down a bit. And I'm just going to fast forward and I can use the right arrow to do that. You see it's adding 10 seconds on here. If I do the same again. Good quality this one. Lots of them are. It's quite a high high action movie this one. They can fix a spine if you got the money. But not on dead benefits. Not in this economy. Now if I want to stop it, what you have to do is you have to press the center button and press the stop button so then you have to kind of navigate to this stop button here using the right arrow and then the press the center one to stop it I'm not sure if these buttons at the bottom here work now to get back to that menu above if you press the home button that just goes to the Amazon fire stick um, interface so instead you need to use this return key or backwards button here um, back again. Oh, here's here I am back at the film. So let's choose a different one. Let's go to the Revenant, and I'm going to press the centre button again. And play. It's giving recommendations, and all of those work. Those links as well to other films. And it's just choosing for me Phoenix. So I'm going to press the enter on that one. I don't really understand those. I think they're different sources on the internet. Uh, 
and link one's fine. Give it a second, it's just working. going to fast forward a few minute or two, let's have a look. It's a very good picture. And let's just try that pause button. Oh that does work, the pause button. How about the fast forward button? Yeah, that sort of jump skips through, I think. It's difficult to say what that one does particularly. So I'm going to press the stop button. And again, I'm going to go to stop one like that. And let's back out of that one. If you want to, you can search for movies as well. So if I just press enter on that one, again, to the movies. If I press the left arrow at this screen, kind of brings up a menu here and if I go to the top one and um, go to that one if I type in the name of a film and you find that there's quite a lot of films lots of old films let's see if Santa Claus comes up let's have a look Bad Santa. Wonder if uh, nineteen ninety four Santa Claus Santa Claus two Page 1 of 37, it says at the top right here. So I'm guessing I will find it here. 1925. It's about 19, about 1980s one, wasn't it? There we are, Santa Claus the movie. Let's see if this one works. Doesn't always work for older ones, but let's hold it. Play, because that was selected. <laughs> and this time it's saying the second one. Okay, I don't care. It obviously knows better than me. A second. Ah, uh, receive source of zero of zero. Maybe it might not find any on that one. Yeah, it's not looking good. No sources found. Okay. But at least that's how you can search for some films. So Inferno, if I do a search for that one, so go into the movies, then use the left arrow, and I'm just going to select search there, and I'm going to use this on screen keyboard to select the right key. So if I say Towering. Oh, 
Oh. Lost it. And then just press down. There it is, it'll do. And play. One. Um, there are other ways you can access movies as well I mentioned about using the up arrows instead so if we have a look through these ones here just briefly if I go to the first one M4U movies for you this provides you a diff slightly different way of accessing movies I find that it does update um, every time you turn it on and periodically and you might find that every now and again it comes up with a prompt to update the software now you, I would probably recommend you choose ignore unless you know what you're doing so choose ignore you'll find it carries on working and with this different way it, it takes a few minutes for it to load up it's less it's got less visual stuff it's more of a list rather than kind of showing you the covers of the films um, so here's quite a lot of Blade Runner But it's quite a quick way of watching a movie, actually. The chance to begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. Um, so that's a different way. Also, you can. Also, you can have a look for the other things, TV shows. 
some of these ones if you just leave it on the center button and press enter it kind of opens up this interface and it's a quick way to kind of navigate through things there's loads of stuff game of thrones if it's like game of thrones for example if i go on that one it'll then give me the option of what series i want to watch because i think there's been seven series of game of thrones maybe seven or eight so you can sort of use the down button to select which one, season one, press, there we are, and you can either choose a particular episode or you can just play all, but let me just go for the first one. Kind of a lot of extra stuff going on there that you don't really need to be involved with. And this one, it's given me several different options here to choose from. I'll just choose the top one. But if that one doesn't work, I could choose a different link. That's it really. There's lots of other stuff in it as well, but um, if you want to stop it, you can use the back button to go back to the menu above until it's, it's actually there, and then you can kind of go down to the power button there, or you can just leave it turned on all the time, or you can just pull the power out. But this is the way to exit Cody. Give it a second, it goes back to kind of the main thing on I might need to press the home button again there we are and I can just pull the power out and it's fine and that's it